Hello, my name is Chava Gombos with Avaya GSS team and I'm going to show you how to integrate OneX SSO with Avaya Control Manager 7.1.2. Let's start with some basic technical information about this integration. Avaya Control Manager allows users and agent provisioning through the OneX Central Agent Management Portal. During installation, Client authentication mode drop down on the configure one X agent form offers two options basic or SSO. With basic, com service will be deployed and pre configured with no SSO enabled. During this presentation, it is presumed that basic authentication mode was selected at the installation time. In order to convert basic authentication to SSO, there are a few additional steps to be performed as outlined in this presentation. In case installation went on with SSO, you may also find this video useful to double check your configuration. Ensure that the ACM server is member of the domain used for the Active Directory authentication. In case the server is registered with a different domain, a trust relationship between the domains must be established. Follow the steps to complete SSO integration with your existing OneX CAM configuration. Basic configuration starts with file level operations. So let's navigate to our control manager folder and uh, under web folders, let's find the OneX EFG folder, make a copy of it. and rename it to SSO. We should edit the web.config file. This configuration file consists lots of configuration parameters. We only need to modify the login type from basic to Windows authentication, such as NTLM. And we have to add one more entry if it's not there, it's called ACCCMSSO. Let's add the new key and name it ACCCMSSO. The value should be true. Once we created this directory, somehow we have to reach it from the web. In order to do so, we have to create an application in the IIS. So let's open the Internet Information Service Manager. Let's unfold the folders. You can see here the ACCCM 1x CFG folder and uh, we can see the properties using the basic settings. It is called ACCCM 1x CFG application pool and the path leads to ACCCM 1x CFG. We have to create an application identical to this, only one difference with the physical path. So alias ACCCM 1x CFG SSO. Certainly the alias should be different as well. Application pool ACCCM 1x and physical path is the directory we have just created. The web. SSO. Okay. The easiest thing to test our one X service is to browse an application. You can see here welcome to one X web service appears. In some cases it doesn't work just right through from the IIS manager. You have to open the Internet Explorer browser and type it in the URL field. 
one more action we have to take is to change the authentication mode from the default anonymous to Windows authentication. Now we can test our newly created application with browsing it. You can see here the service is up and running. And also you can see the URL here we created in the IIS. Now we can continue with the Active Directory, the domain and the user configuration. In order to do so, let's navigate to ACCCM One X, which is the administration portal for the One X scan. And in the settings, there is a domain tab. We have to create a new domain with our LDAP server parameters. Domain name should be, in our case, boot our domain name, held up server is the IP or the fully qualified domain name of the held up server. Port in our case it's the normal non-secure held up port. Search root is a distinguished name where the control manager configuration service searches for the user or start to search for the user. Username is the name of the user and fill the password and save it. One of our last steps on the server after we created the domain is to create a user under the user's user. Let's add a new user called SSO user test trouble. The authentication type by default is DB user, but we are going to use SSO, so it should be LDAP root and domain is the newly created boot domain. It should be an agent and we have to assign for an agent a template as well. I have already created a template, let's save it. Here is our new SSO user. As a last part, we will put this user to the test by logging in to a machine that is part of the domain with this SSO user. There is already a OneX agent installation in place, which we are going to change now using the registry settings. So let's open the registry editor. And navigate to local machine software Awaya OneX settings. And the central management URI has to be changed to our new application we create in the, in the IIS manager with the SSO. Please make sure there is a slash at the end of this value. And the additional thing is to use single sign-on has to be set to 1. So let's start our, our one x agent and see if it manages to log in. You can see the welcome message with the template we created. So this is a successful login. Our user passed the test. Finally, let me show you just a few typical errors. For example, if we modify the registry settings uh, and leave the trailing slash, and log in now. Operation failed with 404 message.
So let's change back and now use the single sign on with the value zero and you can see the authentication input forms. So let's change back to SSO. One. And that should do the trick. Thank you for watching this video. Please send your questions and feedback to mentor at awaya.com or find us on Twitter at Awaya Mentor. For more details or other technical information, please visit our support website at support.awaya.com.